Regrets of the Dreadwolf quest involves searching for six wolf statuettes that have been lost through time. Once you've obtained one, the quest will appear in your journal and you can track it to show the locations of the other object. The first one is found just playing through the main story and there are five more to collect. The first one can be found by completing the quest called Disrupt and Conquer. All you have to do is simply complete the quest in the crossroads and you'll get the wolf statue at the very end. These side quests unlock simply by finding them across the crossroads. You get close to where the mission starts and then it will unlock. Maybe they would have volunteered to die for his cause, but he never asked. Let's see what this fragment can tell us. The next quest is also by completing a side quest called The Labs Below. Again, all you have to do is finish the quest and you'll find the statuette at the end. Your work here is done. There is no need for you to witness what I must do. It's over. Solus destroyed the lab. The blight that was here and his agent. I'm sure he's seen some greater good. The people in his way to get there. The next quest you we can complete is called The Gate of the Lost Ages, where you need to defeat a champion. And you can follow the quest markers to Docktown, where you must fight and defeat Quinn the Spark Wielder, who will drop an essence that allows you to open a gate back at the crossroads, unlocking a new area, where in this new path you can solve a large red crystal puzzle to get the next wolf. They're dug in here. The Venatory must be after something nearby. Let's get it first. Oh, nicely done, Rook.
Next, start the side mission as part of the Regrets of the Dreadwolf called The Wolf's Call, and again, you will get the reward for simply completing the mission. That's it. The memory ends here. It's so Our last wolf is by being another champion and doing the gate of Folded Glory side quest. However, this is not available quite yet until you've completed the first of Darwin's companion missions, which will unlock the ruins in Arlathan Forest. Once you've done the first one though, you can head and fight and Taris the Rekindled, and you can get his champion's essence and use it to open another gate back at the crossroads where you can solve a puzzle and find the final statue. Now we must have viewed the dream sequences, but you can't do this until you've reached a certain part of the main story called Something Wrong. It's a mission in Chapter 8. After completing this, you can return to the lighthouse and you can interact and watch all six of the dream sequences, which will give you a glimpse into Solus's past. And you will get an achievement or trophy for watching every single one of them. You cannot do this, Algonan. <laughs> After you've watched all six cutscenes from the wolf statuette, you can return to the first area of the crossroads where you will have a chat with Morrigan. You can learn about the other happenings in Thedas, as well as her own connection to Solus. Finally, Morrigan will remove the seals of the nearby path and this will lead to a snowy area. At the end of the path, you will find fragments of Mythal's spirit, where you can talk with her and you're given the opportunity to convince Mythal to give you her power. Now this allows you to unlock an achievement and trophy called Clear Minds Open Hearts, but this is also a requirement for a different achievement and trophy for unlocking one of the game's secret endings. And so if you want to do that, then you have to choose the following when you are speaking with her. And those are, I want help, we must stop the blight, you stood against us, we must stop the gods, they were wronged you, we are worthy and building a safe place. If I don't stop the gods, the whole world will be corrupted by the... Stopping the Blight mattered enough for you to talk with Solus even after he rebelled against you. You can't want Elgernon and Gilanane to rule the world.
What they did to you was wrong. And you care so deep. I am worthy of your help. I have seen. What is a protector to you? It's making a place that's safe for everyone. That means defending against danger. Choosing the above responses causes Mythil to find you worthy. She'll then give you a unique weapon called Mythil's Light, and that concludes this long quest line. It's also one of the stages in unlocking the game's secret ending. Like a piece of the sun, I've never felt something so alive. And now, what's the next step? A god knows her moment, at least uh, her essence does. When the time comes, we'll be ready. One final note, if you don't convince her, she will turn into a level 45 high dragon, who you must fight and defeat instead. But that is it for this video, like and subscribe for more helpful guides, and I'll see you in the next one.